What's going on y'all? It's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, today we're going to be making a loop for Lil Durk in the style of his new album 7220 that's dropping on the 22nd. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alright y'all, so before I start the tutorial, I want to announce that I recently dropped a new loop kit called Temporary. Uh, it's 25 of my best pain loops in the style of like 2Z, NBA Youngboy, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby. Uh, 25 of my most solid loops, I promise y'all you're gonna love it. Go check that out if you want. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright y'all, so this is the loop that we're gonna be breaking down. Yeah, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and break down this piano. Uh, this is a contact piano. It's called the Maverick, and the preset's called Classical Maverick. And yeah, this uh, this is the MIDI that my boy Divisk sent over. If I'm saying his name right, it's D-V-O-S-K. Uh, but he sent me this MIDI right here. This is what he sent me. Real beautiful, but I feel like it needed like some counter melody to it, so I went ahead and added this counter melody. As you can see, I switch it up over here as well, just kind of add some variety and stuff like that, just keep the listener interested in it. Um, and as you can see, I went ahead and messed with the velocities a little bit, just because you don't want to have the velocity all hitting like one straight line, because it's not going to have like any push or pull feeling to it. So yeah, so all that I did for EQing was just EQ some of the low and some of the high end out, and that was all. And I just kept the melody at around 9 dB. This is like a sweet spot to keep your uh, main melodies at. So next, what I went ahead and did was I actually played this guitar melody over it. Let me go ahead and mute these real quick. I got this Gibson guitar here at our studio, and I went ahead and plugged it in. I don't know how to play the guitar, but I kind of know how to, if that makes sense. Like, I really just like played stuff on here, and we're in the scale of a C sharp minor, and the BPM is 157. So this is what I went ahead and played. And so for processing for that, what I went ahead and did was I went to this plugin called Guitar Rig Sits. Uh, it's a really amazing plugin. It's not just for guitars. It's like pads, keys, just a lot of other stuff that you can do with it. But I use this preset called Beautiful Dirt. So without it, this is what it sounds like. Just, it just sounds ugly. So with it. Very spacey, just a nice vibe. So... What I went ahead and did right here, this is just a reverse guitar, so I copied this right here. I clicked this little button right here, clicked make unique, and then I just literally reversed it. And then I clicked track, I sent it to its own channel in the mixer rack. I put Fruity Reverb 2 on it, and I turned up the wet to around 87%. And this is just to have like a very like subtle, just here, as y'all can hear. Just that. So next up, I went ahead and added this little guitar lead right here. It's like a nice little slide. Dun. And then a reverse. So this is what the guitars sound like together. So next up, I went ahead and layered the piano uh, melody with a pad. And all that I did for this was just went into the piano. I did control C. Then I went over to the pad. I did control V. And then what I went ahead and did was just delete all of these like high like counter melody parts. Kinda didn't want that. 
and then I pitched it up one octave by doing command up arrow. And this is a preset out of Analog Lab 5 from Noah Cuz's anti-gravity or anti-matter bank, but it's called Nebula. And for the processing for this, I went ahead and put on Guitar Rig Sits, and I went to a preset called Digital uh, Warble, Warble, and I EQ'd some of the low and some of the high end out, so this is what it sounds like dry. Versus with it. Pretty much just made it more spacey and kind of just more like a side chain type feeling, I guess. So next up, I went ahead and added this uh, guitar bass. And this is a preset out of contact. The preset is uh, called uh, Neck Pure DI from the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. This is like a very like, famous guitar bass that a lot of like pain loop makers use. And we're on the scale of C sharp minor. So, so far, this is what everything sounds like together. And then last but not least, I feel like it needed something to kind of like fill up the whole loop. So I wanted to try to find like a nice vocal on Splice and I went ahead and found this. I feel like this really just completed the whole loop like it just filled it up and added like that emotional feeling to it And I went over here to stretch and then I put on smooth bleeding so that way it just bleeds into each other smoothly and this is what it sounds like As you guys can see, I went ahead and already arranged it. Uh, I have a eight bar intro of just everything playing. So whenever someone plays a loop, they can hear everything that the loop has. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I like build it up throughout the loop. Then after that, I have a eight bar hook. And as you can see, I took away the bass because you don't want to have like your bass like going throughout your whole loop. So we have this. I just take out the main guitar and I take out the bass. And then for the second part of the hook, I went ahead and brought back the uh, guitar lead that I added. All right, and then for the verse, I went ahead and took away everything except the piano and the vocals. Just to kind of really just open it up for the verse. And then the second part of the verse, I bring back the pad and then I bring back this nice subtle like guitar lead slide that I added. And then in case you ever use the loop, like I wanted to make sure that I added like, you know, some other stems to it. So I added the piano just in case they just want the piano. And then I had the piano with the pad. And then I tracked out the bass by itself in case anybody wants to like add the bass throughout here, like anybody having trouble finding like the bass notes, they could just, just listen to this and just match it with the 808s. And then for my master, I went ahead and added a Kramer uh, tape stereo by Waves. I go down to mastering and then I go to mastering clean and big. This just basically kind of just like makes the loop louder and just kind of cleans it up in my opinion. I just like using it. So yeah, that was pretty much that for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, sorry that I played out the guitar instead on the guitar. Uh, I just wanted to try something different and kind of have a more realistic feeling. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys learned something. If you guys want me to like, you know, make any other types of tutorials, comment below what you guys want to see me make. Uh, make sure to go get my new temporary loop kit if you guys want to check that out. 25 of my best pain loops, you know, in the style of 2Z, NBA Youngboy, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby. Uh, the list goes on. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Chase Vibes. Make sure to follow Split Mine on Instagram at Split Mine. And yeah, love y'all. Peace. Hey,